The Star Wars Outlaws subreddit is reportedly banning players who are criticizing this game, clearly in an attempt to boost sales and create that positive sentiment that Ives Guillemot, the CEO of Ubisoft, said that the game had on their latest earnings report or sales report call. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future videos here at the Trent Report. Roll this up over at thatparkplace.com. And this came to me by, from Reddit user Ugly Coyote. He actually reached out to me and that park place and informed us Reddit Star Wars Outlaws is banning and silencing people who are critics of the game during early access, also deleting posts. Found myself victim of this after I got reports from other people saying they were banned. He then speculated this looks like damage control before the game officially launches this week. He also shared a screenshot indicating he was banned from the subreddit, but informed that park place he was not given a reason as to why he was banned. He said, I asked them with no reply. Then I asked for the moderator name who banned me and was muted for seven days. You can see right there, Ugly Coyote is permanently banned from Star Wars Outlaws. Uh, there is no explanation given as to why he was banned. You can see that he was trying to figure out why he was being muted, why he was being banned. Um, Clearly, it does look like there was uh, they at least the the Reddit moderators seemingly thinking that he said something disrespectful. But again, it does not appear that they provided any explanation as to why he was first muted for seven days and then ultimately banned when he was questioning why he was muted. He also went on to tell us that moderators of the subreddit were deleting a number of posts criticizing the game. He said this, there were a lot of posts deleted on Star Wars Outlaws Reddit, and me and a friend replied to those posts, also voicing criticism about graphics, performance, and so on. So my friend then posted about censoring posts and was banned for posting non-related topic comments for, I think, three days or so. In that deleted post, many said their friends got banned also. I got banned when I questioned the age of a user and his beliefs by stating that he blindly believes propaganda and described the critical parts of the game like performance, hardware, need, hardware needs, uglification of the main character, and so on. Also, I said uh, he should be aware of false media hype like IGN. So uh, clearly, uh, banning people who were being critical of this game, being skeptical of what Ubisoft and Massive Entertainment were trying to sell people. And in fact, we found out that they literally <laughs> scammed people out of $130, basically robbing people of hours of their lives by forcing them to create an entire new save game because they had a game-breaking bug that left players stranded in space, not allowing them to complete the game. They had to roll out a new patch, and then uh, the patch required players to start a new save, and if they did not start the new save, it still didn't work. And there were even reports that even if you started the new save, the bug could still get you even with the new patch. Although that is unconfirmed. So... Lots of problems with this game. I've shared numerous clips of just how terrible the gameplay is. The stealth mechanics are immersion breaking where you see a 100 pound woman slapping a stormtrooper with the back of her hand and knocking the stormtrooper unconscious who has a giant helmet on. I've shown a video of a real lot of real life poleaxing where a guy takes a poleaxe and savagely whacks an, an opponent over the head and it does not knock them unconscious. So it's just completely unbelievable that this 100-pound woman uh, is going to slap this person on the back of the head and knock them unconscious. It would more likely injure her hand, potentially break her hand, than it would knock the stormtrooper or the individual wearing the helmet. We've seen people literally fall through the entire game. There's a hilarious clip going around where this guy's like, oh, this is such a great game. It's so vast. It's amazing. And then his character just falls through the bottom of the planet. And then he's, he just, his face is just like, ah, never mind. <laughs> he like ends the video. So I, interestingly enough, I think that guy was definitely getting paid by Ubisoft too. Uh, given the fact that he was basically 
saying the party line, Yves Guillemont and Frederick Duguay, Ubisoft's CFO, have been uh, touting for a long time that the game is very high quality because it is such an expansive game that lets you travel to all of these planets, despite all of the issues that the game has with the NPC detection, et cetera. We've seen stormtroopers literally just firing into the side of a building. We've seen a stormtrooper literally walk right up into K Vess's face, does not identify her, literally just stands there and waits till K shoots him and then starts firing back. And even at point blank range, misses K. I mean, it's it's very, very bad. Lots of problems with this game. And I've covered it in, in previous videos. But this idea that Reddit is banning people over people criticizing uh, these Ubisoft games. It's not unheard of. It's actually, uh, seemingly, it's quite common and is becoming a pattern. If you recall, moderators for the Assassin's Creed subreddit threatened to ban any players who posted in the forum disputing developer Ubisoft's original claim that Yasuke is a powerful African samurai of historical legend. Hilariously, this came after Ubisoft admitted that Yasuke, it's disputed that Yasuke was a samurai, let alone a samurai of historical legend. The moderators posted a thread on July 28th titled, There is no debate. Yasuke was a samurai. If you disagree, you can do that somewhere else. There is 100% of debate. Ubisoft has finally admitted that. We have Japanese historians coming out and saying that it's unlikely that he was a samurai. He was more than likely a bodyguard and entertainer for Nobunaga, not a samurai. The thread itself. Uh, we're not going to get into it here. I'll just go into this part here. If you want to read it, I will have the link in the description below. But they concluded the thread saying, any further comments attempting to dispute Yasuke's societal status, disparage his inclusion in game, or containing statements bordering on concern trolling for historical accuracy will be swiftly removed and met with a ban. So that is what the Assassin's Creed subreddit did. Basically saying, if you actually want to find the truth if you're seeking the truth and you want to share the truth you will be banned from our subreddit because we do not want to hear about the truth whatsoever we're totally fine believing the lies that we believe we also had the playstation 5 subreddit actually banned a user for expressing disappointment that Assassin's Creed Shadows did not feature an Asian male as the main character this was originally reported by reddit lies over on x after Ubisoft released the first trailer for Assassin's Creed Shadows that revealed the game will allow players to play a female shinobi named Nawe and the African Yasuke. User Golem is best reacted to it in the PlayStation 5 subreddit asking any other Asian people disappointed that we don't get an Asian male main character or MC. After positing this question, Golem is best received a message that he had been permanently banned from the PlayStation 5 subreddit. He received this message. Hello. You have been permanently banned from participating in the PlayStation 5 subreddit because your comment violates the community's rules. You won't be able to post or comment, but you can still view and subscribe to it. So they were literally banning people just for questioning uh, why there was not a Japanese male character, main character in the game following the trailer. In fact, the post in question was removed and deleted from the subreddit as well, which you can see uh, right here. He did indeed ask this question, but it was removed and uh, the responses were deleted too. So this is not unheard of. We've seen this in, in before over at Reddit. Uh, they literally are just shills for their corporate masters and they totally want to just push lies and they are not, they are uninterested in actually seeking the truth, spreading the truth and discussing the truth. But let me know what you guys make of this. Let me know in the comments below. Remember to always be charitable, especially to each other, but to always speak the truth.